Okay, I thought that I would um, do a haul today of high-end makeup that I've just recently gotten. And um, yeah, and I'm trying out this new filming spot. I've done a couple videos here. And now I see that I've moved, so it looks like I have these lights on it. I do. So that looks kind of weird. So let me move a little bit so it doesn't look quite so strange. Okay. Um, yes. I had the privilege of receiving some makeup for my birthday from Deanne, and I was so, so, so excited. It was MAC makeup, never had MAC makeup in my life, not even one piece, because when I would go in a MAC store, I would feel so intimidated, because I didn't know what I wanted, and there were so many choices, and then all these people's videos would go through my mind, and all the names would run together, and I just, I, I just have never bought any MAC makeup. Plus, it's expensive. Well, she gave me some palettes for my birthday, and oh, wow, I don't even have uh, one of them. Anyway, I had to exchange a couple of them because they were, and she said that was fine because she said I didn't know what to get. Um, they were too um, shimmery, like it was those Lux strips. I have one back there, and I forgot it, but I'll have to show you that in a different video. But um, this is what she got me besides the palettes. She got me um, my first MAC, um, what's it called? Brush, makeup brush. <laughs> and this is the 219, yeah, the 219. So that was exciting because I needed a brush like that. Um, I took one of the shimmery palettes that was way too glittery and exchanged it for this palette, it's the it's limited edition. I don't I didn't buy it because it was limited edition. It's the Sharon Osborne palette. I didn't buy it because of her. I just thought it was beautiful. So I wanted to show it to you. I'm sure it's available because I just got it. So um, it's still available if you want it. Here's the packaging. It's really pretty and there's a glare. There is bad glare. Okay, there it is. Um, it's really pretty. And let me see if I can give you a close-up view of the colors. They're really, really, they're just stunning on. I love them. And I should have actually put them on today, but I didn't. But uh, they can, they do, they, um, they're not um, too shimmery. They're not too matte. They're perfect. They're like satin, I guess. And the packaging is so nice. It just kind of closes like with a magnet. It's just outstanding. I am in love. I am having so much fun with it. She also got me my very first um, MAC uh, lip gloss. The one she chose, which is perfect and I love it, is called, let's see, one of them was called Boy Band. Oh, this one's called Snob and it is a lip glass so it's really, really shiny, and I absolutely love it. I also got a MAC lipstick when I exchanged one of the palettes, and it is, this might be the one, this one is called, gosh, I should have gotten my glass, Cherish. I'm wearing it now. It's just a real great basic color. It's very, um, what's the word, neutral nude lipstick. And I topped it with this MAC um, Cream Sheen Glass. And this one is called Boy Bait. This is the one that's called Boy Bait. And it's just a real simple gloss that just goes with everything. And I have it on over the Cherish. And it looks really, really nice, usually. I mean, this is not the greatest lighting, but so those things are awesome, 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 and I love this too. Now, I still had some, oh, 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 and I was also able to get something I have wanted forever, and it is now in daily use, I use it every day, is a, my first paint pot, and I got it in Painterly. I absolutely adore it. it. You know, you've all seen it, but this is all new to me. It's just a real nice color and I put it all over my lids every morning and it just evens them out and then I put my eyeshadow on top and I absolutely love the paint pot. I had never had one and now I'm hooked. Now, 
I had gotten another paint pot. Um, I believe it was called, um, hmm, I can't think of the name of it, but it was really shimmery. Oh gosh, I almost had the name of it. People use it all the time, but I don't remember. It was the same color as this, but too much shimmer. It didn't work for me. So I needed to exchange that because after I used it a couple times. And all this came from Nordstrom, so they take anything back, okay? So I exchanged it for something that I have wanted forever. Um, I got my first Yves Saint Laurent lipstick. I was, when I went and met um, Debbie Skirty2, she is a YouTuber, we were, we, we went in to exchange my paint pot that was too shimmery, and we were looking at everything, we were having a great time, excuse that, and, um, and she talked me into getting this lipstick. The one I chose was, I think it's number one, yeah, number one. I thought I'd put it on for y'all. Take this off and put this on. It's just beautiful packaging. You've all seen it. Um, I never thought I'd have such a fabulous lipstick, but, and let me just tell you, the woman was super appalled that I didn't want her to put lip liner on me. But the reason I didn't is because then she will want you to buy the lip liner. You know what I mean? They put all this stuff on you, and then you feel like, I need everything. I couldn't afford everything, so I did not get the lip liner. But this is a, it's number one, and it looks really pretty with my other, my matte cream sheen on top of it. No, this is the glass. Um, lip glass. Anyway, I don't know. I don't know the terms. You can tell I don't know the terms, but I think this looks really good together, and I really like it. It's a little brighter than I'm used to, and some of you are laughing that this is bright for me, but I love the consistency of this and the smell. It doesn't really have a taste. I love this lipstick, and I will treasure it, and I will take care of it, and it will not go in my purse because... I'm too afraid of losing it, although I'll take it to Paris with me. Okay, the last thing I got yesterday, and both of us got this, is something I have wanted forever. Now, we went into Nordstrom. There was this huge event. I've already talked about this in another video, but um, we ended up both getting the Touche Eclat, Touche Eclat. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Um, I'm sure you've heard others talk about it. It was very expensive, and I haven't, I haven't used it yet. I just, and um, it's like a little brush, and you put it under your eyes. A couple of other tips that she gave us. You can, she said, you can use this on your laugh lines. She said you can use it under your eyes, obviously, as a concealer or a brightener. And she said to draw it underneath your lip like that, and it will accent or accentuate your bottom lip and make it look bigger and as she did it in the store it totally worked so I'll be trying that she says you have to click it like 20 times to get it to start coming out she said once a week wash this with a little bit of soap and water and keep the brush clean about once a week I will be following every rule she had now she went on and on that most people buy two because they freak out when this lamp when this when they do their last click and it's over because once you click the last time and it's empty there's no more clicks and it's out and some people said I, I was on a trip or I was here or I was there and I ran out of this uh, I'm not buying two at once uh, I think this was ridiculous forty dollars I think I don't see the price but it was a lot but you know we were kind of egging each other on and anyway and they were so nice at Nordstrom's we had so much fun shopping in there and looking at all the makeup and um, because my under eye circles are so bad this was the reason I made this choice so I'll let you know how I like it maybe I'll do a tutorial if y'all would like using all of this well not all of it but you know using the paint pot and the new um, Sharon Osborne palette um, doing um, you know putting on the Cherish lipstick with another color 
um, and, and of course using this and everything. So anyway, that's my high-end makeup haul. It was a lot of fun. Um, I don't have the other palettes Deanne got me. I'll have to do another video, but um, this was just so exciting and so much fun. And I probably won't buy any more high-end makeup for a long time because I love drugstore makeup. I don't have a problem with it at all. But um, that's it. Just thought I'd share. Thanks. Bye.